Hi there. In this video, I'll show you how to import specific columns to Google Sheets. Most people import the entire spreadsheet of data and then manually delete the columns they don't need. However, there's a much better way to do this. I'll show you how to filter specific columns in Google Sheets and import them into another spreadsheet automatically. So let's get started. In this example, I'll use this expense tracker. In order to import data from specific columns, I'll use the SheetGo web app and create a workflow to transfer the data and update it automatically. Click the link in the video description below to sign up for SheetGo. This will take you to the SheetGo web application where you can sign up using your Google, Dropbox, or Microsoft account. Click New Workflow and then click Create Connection. Give the workflow a name at the top of the screen. Here I'll call it an expense tracker. First, you need to select your data source. Click Sheet Files and then select File to locate the Google Sheets file from your Google Drive, Dropbox, OneDrive, or SharePoint folder. You can search for your file or copy and paste the spreadsheet URL into the search bar. Select the file and the file tab containing your data. Then click Next Step. You can select a data processor if you want to filter the data or split it into multiple spreadsheets. Since I want to filter specific columns in Google Sheets, I'll select Filter. Now you can choose one of these three options to filter your data, condition, query, or cell color. I'll click condition because I want to filter data based on a condition. I can choose which columns I want to filter. I don't want to import data from all the columns. I'll choose description, amount, and type of expense. I want to filter data that matches one condition. I'll choose this condition type and click add condition. Let's say I only want to import data from expenses that exceed $100. I'll select column D, number greater than, and I'll type in the value, 100. I'll press confirm, and then next step. Now I'll select the destination file. I'll click sheet file because I want to transfer the data to another spreadsheet. I can either import the data into a new spreadsheet or transfer it to an existing file. I'll let sheet go create a new spreadsheet for me. I can choose a destination folder and the file type, Google Sheets, Excel, or CSV. I'll select Google Sheets. I'll name the file and the tab, and then click Finish and Save. So there you have it. SheetGo has imported data from these specific columns into a new spreadsheet. As you can see, it has only imported data from expenses that exceed $100. This is one of the advantages of using SheetGo. You don't need to copy and paste data manually if you want to import data from specific columns in Google Sheets. SheetGo can help you transfer, merge, filter and split data automatically. That's how you can import specific columns to Google Sheets. Check out our other videos, subscribe to our channel or visit SheetGo.com for more spreadsheet-based automation ideas. Thanks for watching and give us a thumbs up if you liked the video.